also yeah. Sir, the representatives of Atel Corp and Stanford Limited are here. Yeah, here, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, Mr. Jake, how are you? Sir, thanks, sir. Welcome, Ms. Rita. Hello, sir. Yeah, nice to have you guys. Um, let's have a tea. Okay. Yeah, in this case, it's something. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Mr. Jacob Motaya, this is uh, Ms. Rita Olani. And uh, I know both of you are representative for your companies in this project. Yeah. So. Okay, sir. Miss Rita, pleased to meet you. Same here. Nice I to meet you. I heard a lot about you. <laughs> nice, nice to finally meet you. Same here. So with that uh, out of our way, I think we'll go straight to business. Let me see what you get. Stranger? Mom, I don't mean auntie, I mean her son. Like, I don't know him that well. Hey, I have given out your number, at least when he calls you. Pick his number. Eh? I get to know him. After all, it's just one day that somebody gets to know somebody. <laughs> Mom, you know how I feel about this matchmaking thing. This is the 21st century, we don't do that anymore. Ah, Jayala is not a stranger. He's from a respectable home. And my dear, guess what? I think both of you will be perfect for each other. Mom, you know, I really, really don't like what you just did. I don't like it. You're acting like I'm desperate to get married. Like you're acting like I'm old or something. So, I should wait until you are old. Abi, Koneshe. Koneshe. Hey. Mm -hmm. That's my baby. Whoa, whenever he calls you. Pick is call, it is not hard. Pick is call, Ure. It is not hard. Ah, they call Ure. Hey! 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 What was that? What was that? She wasn't even enough for you. I can buy myself now. Huh? I can. Mm. Ah, come on. Who is it? Hey! Hey, you! Hmm. Good have you eaten? You. No, actually, I've not. Good, because I came to cook up the stomp. Wow, that sounds good. You're such a darling. I already know that.
about the recent decline in the stock market. Ah. Ah, really, I don't know what to think about that right now. Um, it's so it's so heartbreaking to think that. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh -huh. please, do you have them? Um... What the hell? Chico, oh my goodness! I'm sorry. Can you imagine? Just look at my outfit. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Get me your manager. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I said, get me your manager now. Rita, 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 calm yes. down. Sorry. About look, look, look at my outfit. I have another meeting in an, in an hour. Like everything is ruined. Like what do I do now? I saw, I saw a boutique on our way here. Okay, we'll stop by and get you something to wear for your meeting. Just All right. Hey, hey, Rita. Where is the manager of this place? Mom? Hello, my dear. <laughs> oh, okay, mommy. You're squeezing me. Jesus, mom. What, what was that for? What was that for? Like what, my dear? Can't I hug my only child? Eh? Mom? Mm -hmm. What happened? Like what? Well, you tell me you look, you know, really happy. Oh, yes, my dear. I am very happy. I have just gotten off a call from uh, from Oremi. She told me that you and Jayola have been talking oh. and you didn't think I should know about it. Come on, mommy, it was just a call. It's not a big deal. What? What is not a big deal? You have been talking to my potential son-in-law. Don't you think I have every right to know everything? Mommy, I was waiting for the right time to tell you about it. It's okay. I forgive you. I'm too happy not to. But tell me, how is it going? Oh, my please, can we have this conversation later? I'm so pressed. I need to use the bathroom, okay? Okay, my dear. Right. Uh, wait! Yes? This wasn't the dress you wore to work today, this morning. Yeah, the other one got ruined, so I had to get this one. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Well, um, mm -hmm. it looks good on you anyway. It fits you. Thank you, you look mommy. Good on it. Thank you. I'll see you later. Okay, darling. All right. Wow. That's me and my Oremi. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, what's up? What are you watching with so much seriousness? <laughs> oh, who is she? The lady from Stanford. I see. She's pretty. Yeah, she is, isn't she? Yeah, she is. To see, dude, thank you for picking me up. I mean, by next weekend, my car will be up and running. I won't have to stress you. <laughs> you're welcome. After all, you're my smallie now. Hey, listen. You need to stop calling me smallie. I'm a five foot, five inches woman. I'm tall. <laughs> Big girl. <laughs> but you're still my smallie. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go. Wow. Bad day for you, right? Yes. My mechanic has been bugging me out. You see why you have me around? I'm the man. picking up his calls. Hey, hello, Jake. I'm fine. How are you? Okay, great. Um, well, I usually don't have busy Saturdays. Why? Oh, you, you want to take me out for dinner? Okay, that, that's fine. That's cool. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Alright then. See you. Okay, good night.
there. Please say something. What do you want, Jayola? Are you done ignoring my calls now? Also, do you have my time now? Please calm down. It's not what you think. Don't tell me to calm down. And don't tell me what to do. I'll get angry when I want to, talk when I want to, and not talk when I don't feel like it. Slow down. I was trying to explain something where you didn't want to take it. And what is your explanation going to do for me? What? So you can just do whatever you want and then you apologize and then it's fine? I was in the middle of an important meeting when you called. Then why didn't you send a message? Oh, I'm sorry. That skipped my mind. Hello? Are you still there? Hello, Rita? Listen, I I'll call you back later. Bye. Mom, I didn't hear you coming. How can you hear me coming when you are virtually screaming down the whole house? Eh? Was that Jayola? Mom, come on, you shouldn't be eavesdropping on my call. How am I eavesdropping into your calls? Ah! You were here busy screaming, shouting. I even thought the whole roof of the house has fallen off. Shadow! Shadow! I have warned you severally. You should know how to manage this your anger. Mom, I don't have anger issues. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, I can see you're not in a good mood. I'll come back. But please calm down. Just, you know, putting up some finishing touches to this work. So we can talk work. Right? Yeah, sure. Come on. Okay. So, what are we talking about? You and Ola. Oh, goodness. My mom sent you, didn't she? She's worried about you. <laughs> I don't understand. Why is she worried? Why not? You know how much mom wants you and Ola to be together. And of course, she's worried you might have real things. She said you spoke rudely about him last night. He annoyed me and I vented my anger. End of story. Isn't it too early for all of that? You guys just started talking a few days back. Well then, if he doesn't want me to be angry, then he should stop doing things that get me angry. It's that simple. All this over a missed call? Missed calls. Bisola, I called him seven times. Seven good times and he ignored them. What if he was busy or something? Well then, he should have sent a message. I think you should apologize to him. Oh, goodness, you know that I am not going to do that. You know this. He should be the one to apologize and not the other way around. You know what they say about pride going before a fall, right? Well, thank you very much, Madam Counselor and Mediator. Can I go back to my work now? Sure. Thank you.
You're here. You didn't tell me you were coming. Ivy. Oh, my God. Saturday. Movie day, right? Ivy, I'm so sorry. I forgot. Really. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please say something. I called your phone several times. I'm sorry. I wasn't with my phone. My phone was in the car. You are with her, weren't you? If you're talking about Rita, yes, I was. Wait, is this about Rita? It is about you not showing up for movie date and you refuse to call. Ivy, I'm sorry. You know, actually, I'm worried about you. You just met this woman and you're spending all this time with her. You don't think that it is pretty too soon for that? Ivy, Rita is a wonderful person. I like her. So you guys are dating? No, no, not. No, not for now. We are not, but... Look, Ivy, listen. This girl is a wonderful person. And I know that both of you, I just have this feeling that both of you will kick it off immediately. I have to go. I have other things to do. What? See I said I'm time. sorry. Ivy, come on. Ivy. Oh. Oh. Thank you. 
Thank you very much for today. I had a great time. What else? <laughs> and I also enjoyed your company. I had such a great time. And I've not had that in such a long time. It was my pleasure. Actually, I enjoyed myself too. <laughs> you are staring again like you did earlier. <laughs> did I? <laughs> Look, Rita, you... You're such a beautiful woman. I just can't seem to get my eyes off you. <laughs> Is that what you say to every beautiful woman you meet? No. No. But I'm saying it to you and I mean it. <laughs> I just wish this day didn't have to end. Why? I would like to spend more time with you. You are a smooth talker. No, I'm not. <laughs> For what I mean, what I'm telling you right now. Look. See here? I feel this special thing for you right here. And there's absolutely nothing I would want much more right now than to be your man. You don't beat around the bush, do you? No. Not with you, I won't. You tell me. What do you say? Wait, 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 tell me. Tell me, let's go. Tell me, honey, before. How do what go? Wait, wait, tell me. What? The date. What date? I just went to the mall. Wait, you went to the mall dressed like this? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, wait. What did you buy? Because I cannot see anything. No shopping bags, nothing. What did you buy? Okay, fine. Okay? Okay. Look, I did not go to the mall. I hung out with someone. Who's that? Well, someone you don't know. A friend you went on a date with. How many times will I tell you it's not a date? We just hung out. Okay. What about Jayola? I thought you guys were concerned. We did. Did? Don't tell me you guys had another fight. Two days ago. I mean, I called his phone oh. and some random girl picked up and I asked her who she was and she just started insulting me, so. Just like that. Just like that. And then later on, Jaola called, but I was too pissed to want to talk to him. You should have peeked to hear his side of the story. Girl, I am just tired of his excuses. He keeps messing up and then he apologizes. I'm just tired of that whole cycle. Like, I'm tired of all of that, so. So wait, you're just going to end things with him without listening to his side of the story? Oh, God, not again. Wait, Chris, look at me. Look at me. See, see. I would not like to you know, believe you. But the truth is, if you're going to have a good relationship, you have to work on your temper. Because it does you more harm than good, and you know it. I do not have a temper. People just like getting on my nerves and they expect me not to react. Really? <sighs> okay. Fine, fine. It's, it's okay. It's fine. Sunday service is tomorrow. I have to go to bed. Okay. Hey, my dear, Mom. have you heard the good news? Okay. I spoke with Oremi and she told me that Jayola will be coming home earlier than planned. Did he tell you? No. Or maybe he wants to surprise you. Huh. This one that you're not answering me, I hope everything is all right. Mom, look, Jayola and I are not working. What do you mean you are not working? I thought you told me the other time that both of you have settled everything and you, you are moving on well. Well, things were until they weren't. 
What did you do this time again? Really, Mom? What happened? Mom, listen. I think Jaola has a woman out there no one knows about. I called his phone and, he, and she picked up, but she was just so rude and disrespectful. Did you ask her who she was? I did, but she did not give me an answer. Did you tell Jayola to tell you who she was? Maybe he has been calling you and you are not picking his calls. Mom, that is because I am tired of his excuses. Look, things are clearly not working between us. Like, we always rub off of each other the wrong way. And besides, I'm seeing someone else and I was going to tell you at the right time. You said what? Since when has, it been, has this been going on? Mom, listen. Look, Jake is a good man, okay? He likes and understands me and my temperaments. Like, he doesn't judge me or make a fuss about it like others do. Because one man who pretends to be good to you has come into your life. You want to throw away the good thing that is happening between you and Jayola? Mom, listen. Jake really likes me and he cares about me. Okay, I know that you and Jayola's mom want us to be together so badly, but that is not a good enough reason for me to be with someone I have no feelings for. Jayola is a well brought up man from a reputable family, the best of its kind. And you want to throw it away? Mom, Jayola may be good, okay, but he's not good for me. I like Jake. <laughs> mom! Mom, ah. just let her be. This is why I did not want to tell her anything about Jake because I knew she was going to react this way. Of course, but she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She's just shocked. So am I, because I've not seen you defended any man like this before now. Listen, that is because Jake understands me very well, and I've not met any man who does that like he does. Wait, but I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. No, seriously. Like, I'm really just tired. Like, this is just stressing me with this no, thing. Like, no. I don't know. Like, I'm a child or something. Would you please not. choose somebody for me? She was the best for you. I wish you were all <laughs> right, please. Cheers. Hey, cuz. Mm. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I did. You? Mm. Uh, okay. Fantastic. Hey, mom. Good morning. Uh, wow. She will come around. It's fine. I'll so I have to rush again. All right. See you later. Work. See you later. Take care. Bye. From you, I want to talk with you. Sure, sure. Hmm. Oremi and I have been friends since high school. We have always been there for each other. When your father died, she and her family were solidly behind us. I remember. Because we wanted our friendship to unite both families, we decided to match you with Jayola. I was very happy when you told me that both of you are getting on fine. But when we thought about it, Oremi and I decided that we have been a bit selfish you and Jayola are adults. You are free to take so whosoever you want. We discussed 
intensively this morning and decided that you people are free to choose whosoever you want to be with. So, my dear, no more pressure. Mommy, thank you. Thank you, Mommy. But I want to know that your friend. I want to be sure that he's not just a web web friend. Okay. Mommy, you know what? I am going to invite him over for the weekend. This weekend will be fine. Oh, great. Mommy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mom, I know that this was a very difficult decision for you to make. I'm fine, my dear. Thank you, Mommy. I love you. I love you, my baby. I love you, my dear. <laughs> Good night, eh? Good night, Mommy. Okay, dear. Hello. <laughs> 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 mm. Jake. My daughter told me that you are from Osho State. Oh. Very much. And that your parents are late. I'm sorry about it. Oh, that's okay, ma. It, it was actually a very long time ago. Any siblings? Yeah, two actually. I have um, an elder sister and a younger brother, both of them residing in the United States. Oh, I see. Yes, ma. I hope you're enjoying your meal. It's very tasty, ma. Very, very tasty. Thank you for having me over. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> mm. I can bet you didn't make this. <laughs> okay, if I should bust your bubble now and tell you that she's the one that made this food. I'll be surprised, really. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry now, sorry. <laughs> That's the best meal I've had in a very long time. Thank you very much for having me. You are welcome for Thank coming so over. Much. Thank you so much. Yusola, mm. hope I'll see you again. Sure, of course. We'll definitely see you again. Babe. Okay. Let's go. All right, take care. Take care of yourself. Okay, you I'll call you when I get home. Okay. Bye. Thank you, ma. Okay, bye, bye sir. Bye. All right, bye. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think I like him. He's cool. Aww. Mommy, what do you think? Me too. I like him <sighs> because he seems to like you a lot. Well, I hate to say I told you so, but I did tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank I am you. happy for you because you are happy to be with him too. So, Mom, does that mean you approve of our relationship? Yes. I didn't get any response, so I decided to use my key. Oh, that's fine. Um, Ivy, meet Rita, my girlfriend, Rita. Ivy, <laughs> my best friend. Hi. Hello. 
I have to go. Go now? Why? Stay, let's have lunch. Rita was just about to cook up something, right? Mm -hmm. Stay. Maybe some other time. I, I have a spa session booked. I don't want to miss it. Oh, come on. The spa. You can go to the spa some other time. I already love my girlfriend and my, my, my best friend to meet. Stay now, let's have lunch, eh? I have to go. See you some other time. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll call you. Okay. Bye. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't tell me Ivy was this pretty. <laughs> yeah, she is. Okay. So how long have you two been friends? Well, since um, kindergarten. Our parents and her parents were very close family friends and neighbors as a matter of fact. So. Mm -hmm. My parents died. Her parents took us in. My siblings and I. Yeah. Since then we've been very close. Hmm. I see. And she has your keys? Yeah. I have hers too. Look, she's a very lovable person, okay? Very soon you get to meet her. Both of you will just kick it off like that, I'm very, very sure. <laughs> you will like her, she's, she's a wonderful person. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure she'll like you too. <laughs> well. <laughs> I think she'll like it. It's beautiful. So she'll like it. You have eyes for good things. Oh, thank you. Ah. What? Ah. Uh, I'm not trying. Okay, don't you think this is too soon? I mean, you barely met this girl three months ago. No, I don't think it's too soon. Look, when a man knows, he just knows. There's no need wasting time doing the right, not to do the right thing, right? I still think you need to take some time to be double sure she's what you want. Ivy, I am double sure. As a matter of fact, I'm triple sure. Come on, you should be happy for me. Oh. I'm happy for you. I'm excited. I'm elated. I'm bubbly inside. Yes. Congratulations. I'm getting married. Yay! We have a wedding to plan. <laughs> oh, I love that girl.
Has it started? Almost. Here you go. Thank you. Come on now. Mm. Thank you. Come on now. Mm. You're blocking the TV. Hold on. Okay. Mm -mm. Sorry, sorry. Very wrong, really. <laughs> sorry. Wait. This thing is going to be very interesting. I can't wait for you to start. Mm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Don't pick it. Why? It's Ivy. What if it's something important? What could be so important that she's calling by this time? Come on, baby. It's just 7 p.m. And besides, how will I even know why she's calling if I don't pick the phone? That's caught. Every time you just want to be interrupting stuff. She's not interrupting anything else. She was just... Let's go. Don't pick. Babe, there has to be so a reason why she's calling. Yeah, something is... I, I know something. It has to be important for her to be calling like this. Jay, what is... Babe, this? come on. Hello, Ivy. Hello, Ivy. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah? Okay. All right, I'll take care of it and call you back, okay? All right, take care, bye. What did I miss? Babe, come on! Rita! Oh my God. That traffic was crazy. I'm telling you. I'm sure some people will sleep on that road today. Because what I saw her, I mean. I'm just happy you talked me out of it and, you know, taking me to your house. I'm looking for street and by now. Ah, that's, that's okay. What are friends for? But you're saying it as if it's different. I mean, I've always been your go to guy. <laughs> you, you call me when you get, you get yourself wait, in wait, all wait, these problems. Wait, 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 wait. It's not is as it if it's marriage that is making you shine like this. It looks good on you, Jake. Hey, Pepe, I people they've come I am now. watching. Pepe, I people they've come now. <laughs> ah, ah, look at you. Thank you, thank you. The muscles, right? No, 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 no. I'm looking at your pot belly. Your tummy is. Oh, come <laughs> on. Your wife's come on. <laughs> it's the muscles you should be talking about. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been lifting your wife's nest. I can see. You always have something <laughs> to say about. <laughs> but I'm happy. Thank you, dear. Thank you. What was that? What was that, Jake? What is she doing in her house? Bring your voice down. Don't tell me to bring my voice down. This is my matrimonial home and I can scream and do whatever I want. So what is she doing Please, here? Calm down, look. There was traffic on their route. A trailer fell on the way. And I'm pretty sure they won't be able to move it till morning. Well, that does not answer my question. What is she doing in my house? She wanted to sleep in a hotel. I was the one that asked her to come and spend the night here. Look, I should have called you. I should have. You I'm sorry. I want her to leave. What? You heard me. Babe, come on. Come on. It's already late. It's not safe. You're joking, right? I said I want her to leave my house and I want her to leave now. I'm sorry, but she's not going anywhere. Look, she's not going anywhere. It is late. It is not safe. Period. Oh, really? Yeah, she's, she can't leave tonight. It's too late. Okay, we shall see. Hi. I've been looking for you. Okay, I just wanted to say um, thank you for letting me stay here. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, we could be friends. Did you have a fight with your wife? Why do you ask? I heard your voices. Was it because of me? It's not that we had a fight. It was, it just... was because of me. You didn't tell her I was coming over. Oh. Jake, that is very wrong. I know. 
You're supposed to tell her, at least even get consent from her before I come here. I know. And I apologize to her, but she won't just listen to me. Maybe I should just go. I don't want any trouble. No. It's too late. And it's just for one night. Moreover, in some hours, you'll be gone anyway, so... Don't worry, I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her, I'll straighten things up. Look, you look tired. I think you should go to bed, get some sleep. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Good night. Rita, I didn't see her. I wanted to tell her I was leaving. I've already told her. You don't have to bother. Okay. So I'll drop you off at um at the junction because I'm really late already. No problem. Then hopefully from there you can find my way. Yeah. with your things. Can I call you? Did he hit you? No. Did he abuse you emotionally, psychologically? No. You just decided to pack all your things down, down to your mother's house just simply because you had a disagreement with your husband? Okay. You said he should have seeked for your opinion before bringing Ivory home. But you told me he has already apologized for it. Look, Mom, I'm not comfortable with your friendship. It's too suspicious. Suspicious? Don't forget that they have always been together before you ever met him. You don't expect him to cut off ties with her just like that. Okay, now tell me. Is there anything they are doing or saying that is suspicious? No, but, but, but mom, he's always talking on the phone with her. Every time. And whenever he does, his face just lights up. He speaks so highly of her. And then he starts grinning from ear to ear like, like he's like kind of in, in love with her or something. Rita! I have always known that you are a jealous child. But I thought that by now you would have outgrown all these things. Obviously, you haven't. Eh? You have problems with your husband's female colleagues. Even your female neighbors. You don't just want to see any woman near your husband at all. This is not good for your health. Jake loves you, and you know it. But mom, don't pay, not... don't bought me anything. Don't bought anything for me at all. Pack your things and go back to your husband's house and settle things and make him like adults. Mom, I'm not going back there. I'm going to stay here. If he likes, he can marry his best friend if that's what he wants. I'm not going back there. Kilo Shamo, you can. What is wrong with this guy, Rita? Rita, Rita. <laughs> Hello, Mom. Yeah. I'm on my way home. What? My wife? Okay, I'm 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 actually not far away. I'll be there in a while. Just in a moment I'll I'll be I'll be there. 
Okay, all right, ma. Mom, thank you for coming to drive her home. Oh, you don't have to thank me, Mom. It's my fault that she's angry. I should have told her Ivy is coming over. It's, uh, it won't happen again, I promise. Thank you for your understanding. Please drive safely. I will, Mom. Babe, look, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I should have told you Ivy was coming over. It won't happen again, I promise you, okay? It's fine. My daughter, please. Forgive him, he has apologized, eh? Forgive him. Go back home, hmm? Are we good? Mm -hmm. All right, mom. Okay, bye. Take care. Sammy. Sammy is Hi. Ivy's cousin. We grew up in the same neighborhood. Hi, it's nice to finally meet you. I'm so sorry I missed your wedding. I was out of the country then. Hi, Rita. What is your name again? I'm Samantha, but you can call me Sammy. My friends call me that. I don't care what your friends call me. Samantha or whatever name you go by, are you so desperate for a man that you would so disrespectfully hug my husband the way you Rita! Stop this right now! Stop what? Stop what, Jake? I am not stopping anything. I am tired of this thing you keep doing every time in my presence. What is this? Jake, I need to go now. I can't stand there and let your wife insult me. Sammy, please. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm leaving. Sammy, I'm sorry. Sammy. What the hell is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why did you insult her like that? What is wrong with you? Hey, you take on my problem. You are my problem. I'm the only man in Lagos. Look, you are the only person with female friends, female colleagues, women everywhere. Like, what is wrong with you? Look, I, I am not cheating on you, Rita, and you know it. What I don't understand is why you've been behaving like a rebellious child, making fuss of absolutely nothing. Oh, so now I am acting like a child? Yes, that's how you're acting. You were rude. You insulted that woman. How else would a child act? How else? Look, I'm going to call Sammy and you are going to apologize to her. <laughs> I am doing no such thing. I will not. You will. I will not. You will. I will not. Rita, you will apologize to her. You heard me, I will not. Why are you I being so rude? What? Why are you being rude? I wasn't rude. Making a fuss over everything. You will apologize to her. Rita? Rita?
where she is. I will give the two of you to talk. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay. Where are your things? In the bedroom where they belong. Come get your things, let's go. And why would I want to do that? Babe, go and get your... Listen, please. I am tired. As a matter of fact, I'm exhausted. I don't want to fight. Please, just go and get your things, let's go. Please. Please go and get your things. Mom, Mom, what are, what are you doing? Um, my son. Yes. Oh, these are the things she came with. Please go and put them in the car. Mommy. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you. Go and see my son. Mom, what was that for? Are you not tired of running down to this place at every single provocation? You have a good husband who loves you, but you want to use your own hand to ruin your marriage. Kill all the girl, don't you alone, kill my fish here. Eh? Just the other day, your husband's female friend just greeted him. What did you do to her? You rent all the whole insults on her. Why? Eh? Ah, my son. Nice. You have a. Uh, Put the things yes, inside the car. Everything yeah. is there. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. We'll be on our way now. Let's go home. It's okay, our... my dear. God bless you, eh? Babe, let's go home. Eh? I hope that his is not for me or your husband. Oh, Moshi. Oh, Ori. My son, thank you. Thank Please forgive her. I've already spoken to her. She will change, eh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank bless you. Bless you. Oh, bye-bye, yo. Oh. Hey. Such a good man. Eh? And this silly girl wants to use her hand to ruin her marriage. Eh? Told you, no, what do I do? Do, 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 do? do I have to break her head open to impact marriage creeps into her? Hi, Rita. I've been trying to reach Jake, but his number is not connecting. Now, this is going to be my final warning to you, Ivy. Leave my husband alone. Rita, how could you? Oh, you're back. How could you embarrass an innocent woman like that? How could you? What has gotten over you? <laughs> Goodness. I see she ran to report to you. Well, maybe I should have done more than embarrass her. Or better still, I should have dragged her by the hair around this house. Maybe that would have sent a better message to her to stay away from other people's men. Who the hell are you? Because I don't even recognize you anymore. What has gotten over you? Jake! Her husband is back. How is your side piece? She's the one you went to see her be? Don't worry. I'm finally leaving this house so that you can bring her in and frolic however you want to. What are you doing? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? 
Don't do that. Don't do what? Listen, I am done, okay? Your side piece can have it. This marriage is officially over and done with. I called this meeting. I needed to talk to both of you. Mom, you didn't have to. There is no need for a meeting. I am done with this marriage. I told Will you. Will you shut up your mouth? Benu Dake! What do you know about marriage? Eh? Do you think marriage is an institution that you will just go in? Whenever you, it pleases you, you will come out. Kilo she gone, you know? Kilo she gone, you know? What is wrong with you? Please, can I say something? Yes, my dear, please do. Listen, if you want to apologize, then don't. Because you begging me this time will not change my mind. So you're done with us? Yes. You're done with this marriage? Yes, I'm done. Uh, well, my son, please, no, just no, ignore no. her. I, I actually think she's not. I think she has a point. The feeling this time is mutual. I'm done. Mom. <laughs> Mom. You can force a horse to the stream, but you can't force it to drink. I'm tired of coming here every single time, begging my wife to come home with me. I'm done. I'm actually tired. Joe, Jake, alone with you, Mom. I love you like my own mother. But I'm tired of walking on eggshells in my own house. Trying not to say or do things that will make my wife threaten me of leaving. I'm done. It's not healthy. Sorry, Mom, but I can't do this. I'll call my lawyer to start the divorce process. Eh, uh, eh, uh, Joe, eh, uh, eh, uh, my son, how much? Joe! Please, John, John! Shut up! Shut up! Go for the love way. Now you have lost your husband and your marriage. Are you happy? Eh? Rubbish. Oh, shit. Jake said what? He won't say divorce. And he looked like he meant it. No. He can't possibly mean it. No, he loves you too much. He can't. Bisola, you were not there, so you will not understand. Look, I have never seen him like this before. He meant what he said. Do you want a divorce? No, I don't want a divorce. Look, I only wanted him to beg me and ask me to come home and not for a divorce. Then what are you still doing here, Sokin? You should go talk to him. You should go? Yes. What if he doesn't want to talk to me? Then you do the talking. Apologize to him. Talk to him, whatever it takes. Go get your man back. I think you're right. I should go talk to him. You know what, let me go change. No, I'll be back. Wait. You don't have to hurry. To come back. Take your time. Hello, Shelley. Why is she rushing to? She wants to talk to Jake. <laughs> hey. Medicine after death. Jang Jang Boro Jari. Rita, what are you doing here? I am... Um, I came to pick up some of my things. 
Hmm. Then the guest room. You packed my things to the guest room. And you even took down our wedding picture, Jake. I mean, you don't you don't live here anymore, so why not? And you cannot wait an extra day to do that? Extra day, one week, two weeks, ten weeks, a month. What 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 difference does it make? I'll get it out eventually, so. things out of the room. It's like he has been waiting for this day to come. Goodness, like men are so dubious. They can never be trusted. One minute they love you and the next minute they're ready to replace you. You need to see the way that stupid Ivy just sat there in his shirt. Wait, did she sleep over? Obviously. Uh, uh, that is too fast. Are you sure? Mom, I know what I saw. And I've been telling you guys that I am not comfortable with your friendship, but you guys will not listen to me. You guys kept telling me that I am paranoid. Now see. You know what? I know what to do. This one. What is it? I don't know. Let me go and check. discard me like a piece of rag, then he has another thing coming. What about the divorce? I don't care about that. I am going to be there, divorce or not. Let me see if he's going to push me away. And uh, what if he does? He will not dare. And I am not going down without a fight. Now you are talking like your mother's daughter. You come from a lineage of warriors. We don't easily give up. Exactly. Good girl. Go get your man back. I'm right behind you, girl. Yeah. Okay. Malo, malo, malo. Don't go back, Ah, what's your body here? Ah, ah. Read, read. Bam. Ah. Ah. This is. Um, 5 p.m. It should be done. Rita, what are you doing here? What else? I'm back to my house. What do you mean back to your house? We're getting a divorce, remember? Well, until that happens, this is my house and I am here to stay. Look, I don't care whatever you want to do, okay? But Ivy stays here now. Ivy. See you later. I'm watching the program because I need to watch something. You have eyes. You can see that I am. When are you going to be done? When are you going to leave my house? I am not here to make trouble with you. Well, then leave my house and then I will leave you. Otherwise, you are nothing but a cheap, manipulating husband snatcher. I'm not going to leave this house because she said so. Jake invited me here, and until he says otherwise... Honey, I am not going anywhere. You know you're a very shameless woman. Mm. Very, very shameless. 
So you could not get yourself a man, so what do you do? You resorted to trying to steal mine? Jake? He's not an article or something that you just steal. He chose me, and there is nothing you can do about it. Don't you dare move a muscle! You had him at a platter of gold, and what did you do? You frustrated the hell out of him. It's not my fault he came crying into my arms. Now he is mine. Deal with it. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I need dinner. What? I said I made dinner. I can't remember the last time I saw you make dinner. I know. Um, look, and I'm really sorry about that, okay? But you should come try it. You will really like it. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. How are you? Welcome. Mm. Mm. How was your work? Good, bad. Okay, How so I ordered Chinese for us. Wow. Favorite Chinese spots. I was mm. going to cook something, but the kitchen was locked. Anyway, the Chinese should be here anytime soon. Wow. Yep. That sounds good. Let's go take a shower while we wait for our Chinese. Mm, that sounds lovely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so. Damn, this looks good. Really? Um, I don't think so. See me. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, this is Barista Jamil, my lawyer. Jamil, this is Rita, my ex-wife. Soon to be ex-wife. We are not divorced yet. Besides, what happened to Barista Chooks? Chooks is not a divorce lawyer. So he referred me to Jamil. I see. So, why am I here? Well, I told Barista Jamil that you're back in the house. So what he's here to do is to put us straight, the do's and don'ts. Let's know how to proceed from here until while we wait for the divorce um, proceedings to go on. Miss Rita. Mrs. Rita. You're still married, right? Right, but Look, he Jake, took... I'll need to talk to you privately. <laughs> Excuse me, Jamil, I'll be right back, okay? What is it? What was that? I already told you that was Jamil. I did not ask 
who was that I am asking you, what was that? You brought your lawyer to question me. What else did you expect me to do? <laughs> With all the, the trouble you've been causing lately, locking the kitchen, making trouble everywhere, I, the best thing to do for me to do was to call the lawyer to see if he could put you straight, look into the matter. What? What's the problem? Jake, what happened to us? What happened to the love we share? Jake, look at me. What happened to our love? What happened to the love you professed to me? I miss Stop. you. Stop! <laughs> the lawyer is in the living room. Jake! <laughs> Can't even stand me anymore. What have I done? It's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Mom, it's all my fault. You guys want me, but I didn't listen. God, it's my fault. It's okay. It's all right, my dear. Just calm down. Everything is going to be fine.
hello <clears throat> um yeah hi um my name is rita am i talking to dr becky um i got your number from my cousin bisola yes i want to book for a session okay all right thank you all right bye Just, just put yourself together. Please, please, look. I just need you to just try and help me and beg Jake. Please, I don't want to lose my marriage. Like, I don't want this divorce at all. Please, just try and find a way to get through to him and just talk to him. Tell him to reconsider, please. It's all right. It's all right. Calm down, okay? I'll do my best to, to talk to him. Okay, I'll, I'll find a way to see him and I'll talk to him about it. I just need you to calm down, put yourself together. All right? Everything is going to be fine. So, how about I drop you off along the road? Okay. What? Rita came to you? Yes, she wants me to talk to you on her behalf. She says she doesn't want to go ahead with the divorce anymore. <laughs> Well, that's too late, because I want it, and I'm going to get it. <laughs> I hope you're not here to, to try and make me change my mind, because that would be very unprofessional. You're my lawyer, not hers. I hope you know that. Hell no. I mean, I, I only agreed to speak to you about it. Why would I do that without your consent? Okay, then. Well, tell her you tried, and I didn't accept. I'm not interested. And that's fine now. That's fine. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jamil. Thank you very much. We'll meet again soon. All right. See you around. All right. Take care. Bye. So what did he say? Easy, talk to me. Mara, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At this point, it is it's too late. I tried everything I could to convince him, but he has his mind made up. He said he's not going back on his words. It's too late. I'm so sorry. I'm missing you already. Oh, come on. I'm only gone for two hours and I'm back. Should I go with you? What? To the spa? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I can keep you company, make sure nobody comes close to you. Mm -hmm. Baby, you don't have to do that. Oh. Remember, you have work to do. Oh, yeah. I remember. Okay, I'll see you soon. Don't miss me too much, okay? I will. <laughs> Wow. Damn, you look good. <laughs> Damn. Hey you! Babe! Mm. 
I missed you. I missed you too. I hope you haven't waited for long. Uh, no, I just go here a moment ago. So, shall we? Yes. It looks stunning. <sighs> for you. Please, are you busy? Um, wow. Yes, I am. But I can spare a few minutes, so what do you want? I'd like us to talk. <laughs> talk about what? Look, if it's about the divorce, I think you should just let that go and let the lawyers that are handling it handle it the way they've been handling it for the past two weeks. There's nothing to talk about, really. It's not about our divorce. It's about us. Us? What, what about us? Um, first off, I want to start by apologizing for my behavior. I've been rude and disrespectful to you and your friends. And I, I took your love and kindness for granted. You've shown me nothing but love and care and I threw it all away. Watching you and Ivy made me remember our early days when we got married. And it, and it made me realize how I've deprived you of all the love and joy and laughter. I've deprived it from you these past months. And I'm really sorry. And I'm just begging you to please forgive me. I don't want us to have a divorce. So I'm pleading that you should just please give me a second chance to make things right between us. Um, just, please just um, think about it and um, I hope that you'll reconsider. Hello, Mom. I think it worked. for this meeting because there is something I want you to know about me yes my dear oh mommy yes the last time you came to the house I came to your husband's house to discuss at length with him I asked him to divorce you what oh yes my dear Ask him to do it to bring you back on track. Hey, Mama, divorce? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Look, Mama, I know Rita can be a bit stubborn sometimes. I know that. But isn't divorce too harsh? 
Jake. But we again, it is not a real divorce. She is a spoiled child and I am to be blamed for it. She is my only child and I gave her everything that she wants. She has a good heart and she loves you. But the, the truth is that she will continue to behave like a child until she learns how to become an adult who knows how to handle her marriage. Not to worry. This is my plan. Bitiawa, bring your ear, let me... And from the look of things, it's working. I... I spoke to Jamil. Ivy's boyfriend as a lawyer. I asked him to pretend to be my divorce lawyer and he accepted. The divorce proceedings and every other thing was all a plan. I, look, I need you to move in with me for a while. No way. I can't do that. Ivy, please listen. My marriage is at the verge of toppling. All you have to do is to pretend to be my girlfriend for just a week. Please. Please. How is that going to help your marriage? As a matter of fact, it will end the marriage before it even starts. It won't. I have a plan. Will you listen to it? First, you move into my house. Okay. So what's um, our sleeping position? <laughs> you still on the bed. I'll keep the couch somewhere there and manage. Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Oh, come on. You're my bestie. Anything to make you happy is top priority for me. Oh. <laughs> Let me yeah. keep this for you there. I'll get some of our stuff out of that place and take them to the visitor's room, maybe. I don't know. Let me keep this there, okay? Are you hungry? I'm trying to process the whole situation. <laughs> yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> Thanks again. I'll keep this. I'll get you something to eat. Noodles, right? No. Rice. Chinese. <laughs> Jamil. Hello? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I don't believe this. You mean everything was a plan? All this was you? <laughs> I cannot sit back and watch you destroy yourself. That is why I did all the things I did. know how to feel about this even you, you you were in on this too we had to do what we had to do to save your marriage from collapsing oh, so so you and Jake are not together Jamil and I are together Jake is like my brother I'm sorry if our friendship was a bit of a threat to you, but I promise you there's nothing between Jake and I. This guy loves you very much. Ivy, I am so sorry about everything I said and did to you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, that's what's under the bridge now. I was a bit jealous that you stole my best friend from me. <laughs> but that was all it was to it. Did you hear that? I understand. I'll probably feel the same way if I were in your shoes. Let's try to get closer and, you know, become friends sometime. 
I would love that. Hey. I am very sorry about everything, my actions, and everything. I did not know how much I was destroying our marriage until you, until you asked for a divorce. I am so sorry. For what it's worth, I have started seeing an anger management therapist. You have? Yeah. Wow. That's lovely. And it's, it's working out well so far. Really sorry. I am so sorry. It's okay. About it's okay. Everything. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Come here. I love you. Love you too. I love you so much. I love you so much. I am so sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. 